as the 10 heroes will jump into the portal, Land of Dawn. Here we go for game one. Oh man, again though, this is the debut not only for the 1-1 one -one in Season 11, but the new hero in town. It's Arlet's Woo! first game in MPL. He's running with the Festival of Blood as well, so that's a lot of... It's very unexpected sustain, if I do say so myself. Moreno doing good work on this Faramis. And it can, as you can see, the wave clear is very dangerous, and they're already using it. Pikatron going in to try and shut down with Narco and Suelo. Yeah. Well, seems like here, Bigatron, they are still maintaining that early pressure. With Benedetta, you can clear fast in that EXP lane, and we can see already Bigatron invading in the early game, and no real response, no concrete response here from side of the Blue Bulls. They can't really respond to it here. Better mid control means that they'll have more to say. Here, Super can already very aggressively forcing the flicker, even going in, finding it, and actually getting out. He truly is super this game with the first blood under the turret, the confidence of this man. The high and dry, man. Holy crap. Early game, and there you go. That's a lot of damage, and Rebel and Zyra needs to be a bit more respectful of the potential here. But keep in mind, the longer the game goes, Saken went for the flicker here, considering the fact that there's a bunch of crowd control. The heavy spin, the, uh, I'm, the, the, um, the I'm offended, as well as all the knockoffs and stuns coming in from Arlen, right? It's a bit, a bit of a bold choice as Hayes gets jumped on. Well, very low, and maybe that's why they picked the carrier, right? It doesn't really matter. Like you said, it's never a 1v1, especially when you have a Fanny in the game when you can always just rotate up top. Let's see here, the first neutral objective, it seems like. Bigatron with their loss, well, even though they lost that rotation, it seems like they are the first team to somehow set up this turtle. Let's see though. Fear no cure already delaying the progress. Oh, beautiful eye for an eye and the Petrify as well. Car's gonna be chunked low. And that's why the Benedetta works into the Arlet pick. My goodness. Bigatron so far in the game doing really well up top as well. Mm. High is gonna be bursted down, has the second skill, but Highs is very low. That's the fadeaway kill for Saken. Both of the members just promoted and found the first two kills in the game. Ooh, Perfect that's... execution here, Arashi is now Bigatron already with the almost 2,000 gold lead. It's very unfortunate they lost their place in both sides of the map, but now Bigatron goes for more and Rebellion is forced to use the brilliance defensively from Suelo, so he will be a lot more vulnerable in this fight. And in the early game, with the pickup potential, Bigatron has a bit of an elite here. He there jumping in. Now that's gonna be Moreno with the call alter as Regionarco stuns him out. It's gonna be Pierno Q, steps back in, but Cars finds a kill. Back on the key. Super can out the cars, finding the kill back with the cutthroat. That's gonna be Vincent popping in a heavy spin. And he will be able to secure the first turtle in this game. Disengaging with the team, Regionarco still in the midst of it all. Beer. Not gonna go for that kill. It's big and turn alpha disengaging with Rebellion too. Great response from Rebellion side. Realizing, understanding that they have the Akai, they will most likely to secure the Durango, but take a look at Super Ken. That's a steal on the purple mm. hook. Vincent, very low, and big and turn alpha takes it and leaves. It's not even a steal, it's just highway robbery. They come in there, they zone Vincent away and take his buff using brute force. Right now, it seems that Bigatron Alpha is winning really hard, but of course, if you look at their composition, they do have a very strong early game. The mid game to late game is where the concerns start building up because later on, they're gonna all try and group up for the Cult Altar as well. There's a lot of chance for Rebellion Zion to try and get a huge combo, a huge engage tool. Because you know, with Janarko, who is on his signature rookie pick, but for now, that's gonna be Rebellion striking back. Bot side, 2v1 was a little bit too much. And with that in mind though, Rebellion Zion, even though they are now in the gold deficit, but it seems like they are still trying to be creative in the map, trying to find plays, trying to look for a kill, a pick -offs as well. And that is a good sign. Rebellion Zion, they need to keep it up, but they also need to remember that they need to pick their fights. Let's see top side action perhaps in a bit 4v2. Remember what I said about Saken being safe? Key though with a flicker and the Divine Judgment onto Ouija Narco. I'm offended finding Moreno, oh. but now it's gonna be the re-engage from Super Ken under the turret with a call alter as well. Super Ken backing off, sway low with the chaos. Moreno gonna be taken oh. down with crossbow tag as it translates over to Key. Vincent with a heavy spin, and that's Rebellion going in. Vincent very deep into enemy lines. It's a better trade for the side of Rebellion. Two for one. A very, again, very good Rebellion Zion. Very good setup, but Super Ken jumps in. Cutthroat oh. finds his mark. Kai's taken down. Turtle spawning in the bottom side. 
Bigatron never go for one Benedetta. for twos. Now they're gonna go on to Vincent right now. The damage will be enough from Fear No Cure out of nowhere from the XP lane. Stunned up by cards, has that mark on him, but he's still gonna be able to escape. Bigatron Alpha with another good trade on the board. Wow, Rebellion Zion, one moment there, they were equalizing, they got the equalizer, but Bigatron now with that play by Super 10, they are winning the map as well here, Rashi. It's so hard to plan around a Fanny because at one point they thought that Super Ken was out of the fight. He comes back with the cables and there's just some a really annoying amount of mobility coming in. Vincent will try and contest this turtle, but it won't be possible, man. There's so much danger here. And Big and Alpha will be able to extend their lead a bit more. And overall, you have to keep in mind that the goal they match up here is what's important. I'm the only one who actually voted for Rebellion. Wow. Rick was staring daggers into me, man, right now. <laughs> Crazy Arashi here. Well, let's see who's gonna win this because it seems like now Bigatron Alpha, they're looking for it by top side. They need, they are now in the lead and looking at the map control, they surely are. I mean, can remember, Mirko, I feel like scales quite equal if you compare it to 1-1. One -one. Yeah, the 1-1 one -one does have a bit more to say in these team fights compared to Saken, but it really depends on how they play. If he finds a suppression onto 1-1, one -one, not much you can Instant do. Goal. You cannot purify yeah. out of that one. So here, it's all about the gold lane. Both teams rotating up top into the gold lane, just like you guys can rotate up your game with Ube as gold. Go and check out the collaboration that's coming soon with MPL ID Season 11. Bottom side, he wants to go for it. Cancel, Super Ken backing away. Cars still alive in a 1v1. Meanwhile, up top, we Janarko already in that bush, planning for an ambush, but it doesn't work for now. Both teams disengaging, repositioning. Just as a Rebellion Zion, they take the vision on Super Ken, if he's on the map, they play a bit more aggressively because at any moment, they're just not sure, but now he goes in and makes the play happen. Divine Judgment, but Heavy Spin is able to disengage for a bit. Final blow, popped in. Vincent gonna be taken very low, half HP. Highs with a regen, and Bigatron Alpha with the disengage. Proper play and reaction from Rebellion Zion, canceling out that engage. Is in the mid lane, Arlet is gonna try his best to defend this one. Will be able to, as BTR still set their sights up in the gold lane. Nothing comes out of this, though. Both teams just resetting up. No casualties from that exchange. Seems like minute number eight. Both teams will definitely play more securely, realizing that the Lord will be up. And take a look at the Wave Minions management from Bigatron Alpha. Clearing the side lanes first, so that will create more extra pressure from side of Rebellion. Let's see, though. Rebellion, how will they respond to this? And it seems like with the Lord now spawn, Bigatron Alpha looks to for more play. Super Ken is just such an oppressive presence right here. Rebellion Zion, they are forced to try and stick around each other because at any point, it's a bit too dangerous to leave anyone alone against a high-end Ryan Fanny with four kills, but Luigi Narco gets caught alone. Divine Judgment in the cutthroat. Even the blade from Veer No Cure popped in. That's four ultimates actually from Bigatron Alpha. Very low cooldown ultimates, but still, four ultimates that Rebellion Zion can utilize now to open up the map. Cars gonna be doing that for now. Gets a stun down onto Veer as well, getting the reset on his second skill. Both teams, again, just playing around the Lord, but Bigatron definitely have more pressure. What the heck? Super Ken up top with a solo kill. Highs did not have time to react, and just like that, it's another one for zero on the map. Bigatron Alpha are Playing around this Lord really well. Super Ken recalling to rotate back to the Lord Gong. Do note that Heist also popped that Inspire, perhaps from Loki panicking from the engage from Super Ken. So it's still gonna be 5v4. Remember, Rebellion Zan will have Heist up now, but it seems like Bigatron, even though with that extra man, they are not convinced that they will secure that Lord guaranteed. So what do you think? I feel like Rebellion Zion, there's no chance they're gonna get a clean fight right here. I think they should just try and go for trades because honestly, the late game is where they're banking on here, right? There's no way they intend to go up against Vigitron Alpha in the early game against Ephraimis, Kaja, and the Fanny. So I feel like they should just play to their strengths, try and trade around and get what they can and try and stall out the game because Vigitron Alpha, already with a 5k goal lead right here, is only going to get more and more difficult for Rebellion. So. They have to try and do something, but Vincent tries to go aggressively on Key. Oh, that's the heavy spin burnt out already. That was the only mm. thing keeping Bigatron Alpha from not committing onto the Lord. 
Now Rebellion Zion with a massive resource spent. Veer No Cure going to try to clear out the mid wave. Eye for an eye, good one to dodge away from the I'm offended, but now it's gonna be Moreno who pops it. What super can? How? Where did you find that angle? We Janarco caught in the petrified in the final blow. Cars going in, sock and flickering out, but will be taken down by Sway Low, who picks up a killing spree. Meanwhile, Highs still able to dish out the damage right now as Super Ken tries to take another trade back. Sway Low shut down. Super Ken now onto Cars. It's gonna be the stun coming in. Cars playing with the resets really well, oh. but will be slain in the mid lane. One by one, Rebellion Zion gets taken down, and now Bigger Chon Alpha still with the lead. Oh, Highs though, will he commit onto his Reno Cure? Crossbow saying pop. Final blow as well. Virno Cure, that might not be the right angle. He could have gone up top, but Highs shuts him down, punishes him here in the 10th minute. All things considered, it's a back and forth situation, but the gold lead has shortened down by about 500 gold. So for Rebellion, it's still not bad, but obviously they're, they're not out of the hot water yet. Because an Alpha still has full control of this game. They're still down a man right now, but I don't think they're too concerned about Rebellion Zion trying to go for a contest. Even Vincent, the tanky jungler of Rebellion Zion, can be one, completely one shot by Super Ken at this point. So they are really out of options to try and deal with this Fanny. They have to try and find something else where Super Ken is just not involved in. Yeah, well, I mean, the Lord is yet to be taken down, right? The first Lord here, we might see the second Lord, the Enhanced Lord, might finally be committed by uh, by these two teams. But now it's just a reset. Top side has been always Bigotron Alpha controlling that wave, and Rebellion Zion are always behind from that fight. He has his flicker back up, the Divine Judgment as well. That's going to be the key to this fight. They actually go for another. It's Reja Narco who gets picked off, and it's Super Ken who picks up the godlike. But with that, Vincent will be free to go for the 50 50 here on the first Lord. They might as well reset it here as we have entered the 12th minute of the game. The Enhanced Lord is available for Megatron Alpha, but they want to play with the respawn timers. They reset, and it might just be, yep, them waiting for the Enhanced Lord. They're split pushing, playing the waves really well. And that EXP lane, the, the far side of the map, is so difficult for Rebellion Zion to try and take care of. But now with a concealed play, with Vicky and Alpha goes for something here. Vincent with a heavy spin right now, they're trying to burst it down. Who's going to win the retreat battle? It's Super Ken, who comes in in the end, wiping them out as well. Highs now, trying to cut away, but will be clapped by the side of Veer. The crossbow tank by Heisdahl. That's a great play. He dodges away from the upcoming damage. And Heis is here. Ready to face off BTR. It's 2 for 3 but remember, Bigatron Alpha, the red robots, got the Lord. And take a look at the items, the situation here. Can Bigatron Alpha end this game with this first Lord? The two members down, there's uh, just a chance for Rebellion Zion to try and clear, because you can see that Heist has a lot of damage built up already. Clearly, it's not ideal just yet, but Sway Low also has the Divine Glaive finished up. So, in terms of damage, they have enough to try and make plays happen, as we saw in that fight. But the front line, though, is the main concern. No one is tanky enough to try and withstand the initial burst, especially when there's a neutral objective that Pikachuan Alpha can use to control the maneuvers, the movements of Rebellion Zion. Let's see. The first Lord, it seems like. Well, the second Lord, Enhanced Lord, will be taken care of top side. But of course, Pikachuan Alpha still with the pressure. No commitments just yet, but Flicker, yeah, like I said, Flicker's Divine Judgment is in play. Ooh. Let's see. That was a very risky play by Super Ken. He is able to get out just in a bit. But now it's Virno Cure who looks for a split push angle. Cars looking to punish. If it keeps on going like this, we mentioned Lion is going to have a good time. Meanwhile, Super Ken gets Oh, what? Oh the fadeaway all the way with the chaos, and it's a massive shutdown. Eight kill bounty into the wallet of Sway Low. Yikes, that is not what you want to have happened. I, Super Ken committed too hard on the turret. I think he took a bit more burst damage than he thought possible from Sway Low. And even though he was able to make, take so much distance away, he was still taken down. So without him on the map, you can see Rebellion Zion start moving with a lot more courage right here, trying to get some objectives on the map. Hyper and I right there. That's going to be the Shadow Stampede, but Heavy Spin is going to be able to pin Moreno down. Not for long, the Cult Altar is placed down, and the Vite Judgment finds cars. That's one on the board, and Sakin is going to be able to free hit for a bit. Now Cock forced force the Flicker away. Highs looking for the weakness points. Rebellion Zion capitalized on one turret in the mid lane. Super Ken looking for an angle right now. Jumps in onto the back line. Finds the kill on the Vincent, but will fall oh. to Sway Low. Pikachuan Alpha, 6,000 gold lead. Now down on to a 3.8k. The Blue Bulls, they're responding here in the 15th minute. And 
Take a look at the lead. It was five to 6,000 earlier, now down to almost four. What a response, but still clearly Bigatron Alpha still with the momentum that they're building, they're still in the lead. You can see the Super Ken now is not nearly as big of a threat. Rebel and Zion have enough damage to try and burst him down if he just go in alone like he's been doing uh, previously throughout the course of this game. So now Rebel and Zion can be a bit more confident in how they want to play. Uh, Pais as well has the win of nature, so he can go for more outplays here. And this is the advantage that they have using a 1-1 pick over the carry. Later on, the longer the game goes though, the carry still will be doing, uh, will be doing a lot more direct damage, direct impact in those team fights compared to the 1-1s. But that outplay potential is just very valuable. And Brigitte and Alpha, they have to try and be a bit more calculative here. They do have the wave pressure, but Wijanarko goes for something here. Conceal being fought, but they don't find anything. Yeah, for now, teams like Bigatron, they are still, again, playing the far lane, clearing that wave, creating constant pressure, especially for Arlet. Let's see, though, can Bigatron Alpha now capitalize on that? It seems like 5v4 if they are now forcing that fight. But no, Benedetta will just still be hovering that bot side here, waiting for the right timing as well. Take a look at the mid side, clear it now. Mm -hmm. So. It seems like still Bigatron Alpha favoring the map control. That's Good an endless slope. push mid. Yeah, Rashi, look at that. The way they're building it up, it's going to crash, I think, with three minion waves later on. Nope, it gets cleared out a bit too fast, I believe. And now it's Bigatron who have a bit more pressure to play with. But again, still, the main problem is there. Heavy spin, Vincent, with the retry. Keep in mind, Cars has not been able to find a very decisive team fight here, which is what they're planning around. But look at Hai just going in against the Benedetta. But Vincent makes the engage happen against Key. Flickered defensively by Key. That's the heavy spin baited out, though. If they had to bait out an ability, it had to be that. Look at Heiz. Heiz is going for a kill. Fear is going to be taken down. Even the eye for a night. Heiz finds a massive play. But now it's a victory battle. Super Ken, is he going to win it? Oh, it's no sense. With a steal to save Rebellion and to take Bigatron down. He going to be slain by Heiz. Moreno caught in the midst. Now taken down by Vincent. What a play by Rebellion. The Red Robot, they're in shambles. And the blue Bulls now in 17 minutes of game time. Seems like they are now in control, showing Bigatron Alpha who's boss. Oof, what a turn of events, man. The Lord Secured as well. Highest gets first down, though. Super Ken still very much in this game, but he might be alone too deep in the jungle of Rebellion Zion. No energy, buys the immortality. That's the stun coming in. Super Ken still able to find the cables for now. Vincent's gonna be trying to chase oh him down. Goodness. Super Ken gets out with the kill onto Highs. That may be the saving grace that Bigatron need to clear the enhanced Lord. The members coming back up right now. Sokken goes under the purple buff. Will not be able to find more control, though. Super Ken. Now, still trying to find an angle to go onto the purple buff as that's gonna be key and Beer No Cure. Moreno secures the purple buff as the eye for an eye gets Beer No Cure out. Now, Enhanced Lord has been cleared out. Legion gonna be caught in the midst of it all. That's gonna be Beer No Cure jumping back. The Shadow Stampede bringing Legion Arco back for Sakin a free hit. Legion Arco maneuvering away, but that's gonna be the fade away from Sakin as oh, the Divine Jumper connects. Meanwhile, in the base, Super Ken with the no. back door to split push, but it will not work. Brilliant maneuvers by Heiz to save the game again. Good Ooh. re here by Heiz. My heart dropped bot side there. But what a what an offense, what an attempt, but what a great defense as well. Just in time. And take a look at the gold and equipment of Rashi all back to zero. Oh. At, at this point, the items are built up for everyone except for perhaps the roamer, I thought Super Cam was gonna go for the purple buff, which is smart, right? They're contesting our purple buff, we can go for our opponents instead. But he just goes all the way and tries to end the game right there. So Rebel and Zion, they have to really pay attention to the waves right now, because Bigatron are showing that they have no issue going for the end of the game just like that. Ooh. But Key is supposed to flip her away. Highs, oh my goodness, he's still going for it. Moreno has gotta be careful oh. here. That's cards finding it. Moreno slain! Sway low! With a flicker, oh, two is down! My goodness, Sway Low! Picks up another mid lane, gonna be cleared out by Super Ken as he looks for a split push once again in the bottom lane. Only one Cannon minion left, 36 seconds for the Enhanced Lord to spawn. Vincent will steal the purple buff once again. Same roster, same problem. Man. Well, different roster, diff same problem here, Mirko. Bigatron Alpha, late game-wise, not much of a potential, remember. Their trend this season has been winning the early, winning the mid, the late game. 
They lost track of time, they lost. And now it seems like Bigatron Alpha equals still Bigot Throw Alpha. Bigot Throw Alpha, that's a new one. A full built Lunox though in this point of the game is just devastating, man. They have to worry about Swelo as well as Highs at the same time. And both of these heroes can actually have some immunity in the middle of the fight. So Bigotry and Alpha are the ones that have to try and find an opportunity. And Regret and Zion, they just have to be careful to not make a mistake. Not leave a lane pushing in and not get caught out of guard. Especially because Super Ken is still trying his best to be unpredictable. To be flanking around and finding opportunities there as Vincent is waiting in the wings trying to try and get another great steal for his team which are not going to get engaged on he is taken out now you see him now you don't disappearing from the map that's one for zero right now that's giving the concealed place down Sakin trying to burst him down but now it's getting right to comes Vincent finding it again with a heavy spin we're no cure running away but the crossbow Cross tag oh. is ready and it keeps on going now with the Sakin who has the win of nature as he tries his best to free hit the back line Hyde with the win of nature once again Hyde Finds the shutdown, gets the immortality now. Still able to kind of wait for a bit, but will be slain in the process. Cars losing the immortality, popped in. Superkin finds the kill back. It's a four for two. Key oh! with the divine judgment onto Sway Low. Bottom side, minion wave. Still ready for Bigatron Alpha. 15 seconds onto the Widget Narco. Right now, the respawn timer. Superkin with retribution, and it might be it. 10 seconds left, and Bigatron Alpha secure game number one. It was a close game. Game, but BTR are able to win it in the end. The Red Robot still too strong in game one for the Blue Bulls to uh, take the dub. And my goodness, what a game we have for our second match of today. And take a look at the celebrations. One overcommitment move there. From the side of Rebellion, proved costly. One overcommitment at about 20, 20, 22 minutes in the game. Wow. That is definitely the costly mistake in this game. Unfortunately for Rebellion, it was all looking so good for them. Even securing the Lord in the final sequence of that game. But with one moment, right, Bigatron taking advantage of the mobility.